and we're live. What was your recovery from that? Did you did you not make it back to a hundred percent? Am I no? Wrong? No, I've got nerve damage in my upper uh, glute on this. I can feel it when I put my. It's not like where you sit down. It's like above that, closer to the hip. But like, yeah, it's. Would it's you call it two years ago? This happened. Yeah, yeah. I've said before it it outlasted their entire marriage. Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite part. <laughs> it's like you wouldn't have lasted in prison because new guys get top bunk. You, the, oh, the bottom shit. bunk is a, bottom bunk is a seniority thing. You've got to be there for a while to get bottom bunk. I would have had to go to like protective custody. Be like, <laughs> no, I mean, I just I need to be bottom bunk. <laughs> okay, what do I have to say? Okay, fine, I'll kill myself. All right. have <laughs> you would have had would to have been, been, so many packs of tuna to get that bottom yeah. bunk. Yeah, I would have. Or would have woken up on the first night like that. Kind of Oz getting branded with a swastika sticker on his ass, tied yeah. to his bed. Yeah. <laughs> Except the Nazi would have looked and has been like, "This guy's ass is just trash." Does <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> yeah. he looks like someone's there's a bunch of other you know little... <laughs> There'll be another new guy tomorrow. This <laughs> there's a bunch of other yeah, yeah. white boys that they can be the Aryan yeah. fuck toys. This guy's gross. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. That's, my, that's my prison defense just yeah. having an, an unpleasant right ass cheek to look at oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the hair <laughs> um, that's true yeah. do you guys all prefer the bottom bunk oh so yeah no, top bunk here bottom bunk you. what now t oh. Kyle, why all right so i had an opportunity to move to the bottom bunk after a while because like my my cellmate moved to somewhere else and uh people were getting shuffled around occasionally and it was like ah bottom bunk's open i can move down there it's like no no, first of all, it's cooler up there. You're closer to like like you you're you're closer to like the airflow. You're not okay. like down in a room. You're kind of above the room, mm -hmm. and you can kind of see around. If I, when I was sitting in bed reading my book, I could kind of get a lay of the land, make sure you know an ambush wasn't being prepared. Um, <laughs> and uh, I guess that was that that was mostly it. I just liked being up above everything, and I. I kind of thought it was cool to climb up the little ladder, you know. The only, the only, <laughs> the only downside was like at night when you've got to get up and take a piss. I have to be like a cat burglar so I don't wake up the guy on the bottom bunk because it's one of those like springy things that I'm on and it's like <laughs> from the smallest <laughs> movement. So I have to like move. It it would take me five minutes to get out of bed. I would mm -hmm. move so slowly because I didn't want to wake this guy up. I didn't want him like resenting his uh, his celly. That's funny because the reason I like the top bunk might change in this situation. It's the illusion of privacy. I always feel like when every top bunk I've been in, which is like uh, college dorms, it, it's a little bit above your head. Like you couldn't see the flat of my bed. Even you, Kyle, who's like 6'2 or something. You know, if, maybe if you were on your tippy toes, you could just see it. So, uh, you know, it's like a, a tiny bit of privacy, like especially if you're against the wall, like no one's looking at you whereas the bottom bunk i feel like you're on display yeah it was You're the opposite sort of here. like in a the, uh, small the room bunk. people would no go ahead oh, sorry yeah uh, people would be like in a like a, a room like a college dorm where you've got like the bottom bunk if people come in there if you've got like no room people are like sitting on your bed as well they're just like oh that's just like a community seat now and it's like no, fuck off. That's where I sleep. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's like, a good point, too. Your dirty head. jeans off. I do remember that because yeah. I instead yeah. of bottom bunk in, in college as well. Same reason. And no one climbs onto the top bunk as a place to sit. You'd have no. to yeah. scrunch under the ceiling. Yeah. The funny thing is, they told me a story about some dude who like was sleeping and rolled out of his bunk and smashed his head on the floor and how it had like cracked his head open. There was blood everywhere. Like they, they told me that story and I was like, I don't do that. You know, yeah, there, but for the grace yeah. of God, go I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude cracked his head open in college where I went. He so this is what happened. One guy on the outside, he was a big, strong, he was a black guy. The color didn't matter, but they telling the story, he's big, strong, built naturally, he didn't lift or anything, he was just a huge guy. And uh the guy opening the door, he was being goofy and he opened it a crack, put like his head there and he goes, hello. And the other guy was going to kick the door open as a big, like hilarious display. Well, these two pranksters had incompatible pranks. So he kicked this door open and this it's a college door, but it's like the size and weight of an exterior metal door. Mm -hmm. And uh, it cracked the dude's skull. It, it, ah. you, I saw the X-ray. His skull was broken, and uh, you know, they took, him, right? it didn't kill him. It he got a concussion. He had uh, headaches for a while, <laughs> but um, 
uh, he didn't, I mean, I knew he was on the swim team. He didn't seem to have like any real issues outside of uh, struggling in school because of the concentration and headaches. Oh, that happened to yeah. Kill Bill. What? Where, where she uh, she kicks that door closed on the guy's head when she's escaping the hospital. Oh, yeah. I remember even like watching that scene and like you can watch the silly like sword stuff and be like, that's ridiculous and silly. But like, you know, it's like, oh, oh, that could happen to anybody's head in the door by just a mistake. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's realistic. Yeah, that was very visceral when she like kicks the I just watched that uh, just the other day. Yeah, she just kicks yeah. the fuck out of that door. It's a good movie. I need to movie. watch it. Yeah. Do you like the second I, one? I like them both. I like them both. I I I, I never watch one without the other. I, I view them as one movie. It, it, they they go yeah. really well together. Uh, I think the first one is a little bit better, um, but but I like them. I like them both. I saw Agreed. the second one and not the first. And I don't know if I eventually got around to seeing the first, but apparently I screwed up this. Oh scene. yeah, yeah. Well, you're not supposed to do two. that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Which is I, the one where he hits him and he's going to die some time far from now. That's the second one. Well, uh, that's the second one. He, he takes five. He's got the it's the five finger uh, death punch, right? You know, you, you do, 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 and they got they take Odd five steps. And they die. Yeah. You know what? He should he yeah. should have skipped. <laughs> or like, is it Red Rover where you're like, hey, can I, I do roll. three giant jumps? <laughs> yeah, just try to live the rest of my life <laughs> on five steps. <laughs> Thank you. I, I don't understand why you got up. Well, I see, like, if someone did that to me, I'd be like, okay, cool. I'll just sit down for the rest of my life. I'm like, yeah. well, I was pretty much doing that anyway. <laughs> send my mail here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one step to a wheelchair, and then after that, I can just sort of lift my chair. Lift myself around, you know. Well, <laughs> <scooter>. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't even uh, burn one step to the wheelchair. Bring it to me. I'm, heave yeah. me up. Put me in. Yeah, right? I'll just uh, roll into it. Imagine accidentally I, I taking steps <sighs> over the course of your life. Like as you go from yeah. your mobility scooter to the kitchen table, you're like, "Fuck!" Yeah. That was <laughs> one left, and then it just like, and then, and then it was time. I took my final step. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. Going back, the... back to the bunk bed, I uh, I always choose the the top bed, and I have one reason why. When I was when I was sixteen, I went to my mates. Uh, they had like a farm, and. Uh, People would go there. There was like it was like their family sort of cabin sort of thing, but they had like fuckloads of bunk beds in there. And I was sixteen. It was like the first time I got really drunk and uh, drank all fucking night. And I fell asleep on the top bunk, like above mm -hmm. one of my mates. And during the night, I was so drunk that I pissed the bed, and it just sort of <laughs> so oh, went through the bunk. <laughs> and he's just like, "It's it's raining." <laughs> So I'm, like, oh. I'm, never, I'm like I'm never picking the I'm never picking the bottom bunk in case I do uh, that happens. But if to you me. had picked the bottom, <laughs> there would be no victim. You belong on the bottom slush. No, no, I want to piss on him. <laughs> I enjoy that. <laughs> uh, okay. That was yeah. part of the grand scheme. That was yours. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I, I don't want that to happen to me. No, oh, I wouldn't either. 